Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onin de Guzman, and our topic for today is Joint and Combined Variation. Joint variation occurs when one quantity varies directly as the product of two or more quantities. This can be expressed into a mathematical statement or equation as y is equal to kxc or k is equal to y all over xz. Now, if we will recall, if I divide both sides of the equation by xz, so I'll factor this one xc and xc. So constant is equal to y all over xc. Remember that k is the constant of variation or constant of proportionality. Let's have some translation. So a varies jointly as the product of b and c. So again, we have a is equal to k b c. So, if we want to find the value of the constant, so divide both sides of the equation by BC. So, we come up with K is equal to A all over BC. Next, the area A of a triangle varies jointly as its base B and its height H. In symbol, we have A is equal to KBH. Again, so if we will divide both sides of the equation by BH, So again, constant is equal to A all over B times H. Lastly, the volume B of a rectangular solid varies jointly as the product of length L with W and H, its height H. So in symbol, B is equal to K L W H. Again, divide both sides of the equation by length times width times height in order to find the value of your k. So therefore, k is equal to b all over l times w times h. So let's apply the joint variation in this problem. z varies jointly as x and y and z is equal to 8 when x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 8. Find the following. The constant Letter B, the equation of the relation, and C, the value of Z when X is equal to 4 and Y is equal to 30. So let's start with the constant. Again, so Z is equal to K times X times Y. Again, if we are interested with the value of the constant, so divide both sides of the equation by X, Y. So, Constant is equal to z all over x times y. Then substitute. So this is equal to 6 all over 10 times 8. So this will come up with 6 all over 80. Or the k is equal to 3 all over 40 when you divide both numerator and denominator by 2. So k is equal to 3 all over 40. Next, let's find the equation. So, z is equal to k times xy. Substitute the value of k, which is equal to 3 all over 40 times x times y. Next, find the value of z. Again, z is equal to 3 all over 40 times 4 times 30. Take note that 40 and 30 is divisible by 10. So, this is equal to 4. This will give us 3. Next, 4 and 4 is divisible by 4. So, factor it out. So, z now is equal to 3 times 3 or z is equal to 9. Let's try another example. The area A of a rectangle but is jointly as its length and its width w. The area of the rectangle is equal to 72 square centimeter well L is equal to 12 centimeters and W or width is equal to 12 centimeters. Find the area A if the length L is equal to 18 centimeter and its width W is equal to 5 centimeters. First, let's find the constant. 
So we have A is equal to K times L times W. Take note that if I'm looking for the K, divide both sides of the equation by LW. So area all over LW is equal to your constant. Then substitute the value, 72 all over 12 times 2. So this will give us 72 all over 24 or K is equal to 3. Now that we know that the value of K or constant is equal to 3, let's find the equation. A is equal to K times L times W. Substitute. So area is equal to 3 times L times width. Okay. Next, find the area now. So area is equal to 3 times L times width. So we have 3 times 18 times 5. So the area is equal to 270. Therefore, the area is equal to 270 square centimeters. A while ago, we talked about the joint variation. So which is the product of two or more quantities? However, if we talk about combined variation, refers to a situation in which one quantity varies directly or jointly and inversely as the other quantities. So say for instance, I have here W is equal to K times X times Y all over Z. Now, if I want to find the value of K, I'll multiply both sides of the equation by Z. So I have here WZ is equal to K XY. Solving for K, divide both sides by XY. So K is equal to Okay, WZ all over XY, where K is the constant of variation or constant of proportionality. So to illustrate combined variation, so let's have letter A. A varies directly as B and inversely as C. So in symbol, we have here A is equal to K times B all over C. Now, to solve for the value of k, let's multiply both sides of the equation by c. So we have ac is equal to kb. Then, divide both sides of the equation by b to come up with the value of k. So we have here k is equal to a times c all over b, where k is our constant of variation. Another example, m varies directly as n and inversely as the square of p. So in symbol, we can have m is equal to k times n all over p squared. Again, to solve for the value of k, we will multiply both sides of the equation by p squared. So I have m p squared is equal to k n. Then divide both sides by n. So, factored out n. So, k is equal to m p squared all over n. Let's have example number 3. Z varies jointly as y and w and inversely as the square of x. If z is equal to 36, y is equal to 6, w is equal to 8, and x is equal to 2. Find the following the value of the variation constant, the variation equation, and letter C, the value of Z when Y is equal to 12, W is equal to 9, and X is equal to 3. So first, let's find out the constant. So that is Z is equal to K times W times Y all over X squared. Then substitute the given values in order to find the K. So take note that if I have here 6 times 8, divided by 2 squared, which is 48, divided by 4 is equal to 12. So I have 36 is equal to 12k. Divide both sides by 12, so k is equal to 3. Now that I found out that the value of k is equal to 3, then to find the equation, so we have z is equal to k y times w all over x squared. So z is equal to 3yw all over x squared. The next one, to find the value of z, so we have z is equal to 3 
then simply substitute the value of y, w, and x. So we have 3 times 12 times 9 divided by 3 squared. Take note that 3 squared is equal to 9. So what we have is equal to 3 times 12 times 9 divided by 9. So factored out 9 and 9. So I have here z is equal to 36. So therefore, z is equal to 36 when y is equal to 12, w is equal to 9, and x is equal to 3. So let's apply the combined variation in a word problem. So the force F of attraction of a body varies directly as its mass M and inversely as the square of the distance D from the body. When M is equal to 6 kilograms and D is equal to 3 meters, uh, F is equal to 100 newtons, find the following. Letter A, the value of the constant. B, the variation equation. F when M is equal to 10 kilograms and D is equal to 10 meters. First, let's find out the constant. Since the equation, or F is equal to K times M all over D squared, then simply substitute the given values in order to find the value of our K. So again, so 3 squared is equal to 9, then multiply both sides of the equation by 9. So come up with 9 times 100 is equal to 900, which is equal to 6K. Divide both sides by 6. So K is equal to 150. Now that we know that K is equal to 150, let's find now the equation. So again, we will go back to F is equal to KM all over D squared. We simply substitute K, which is actually 150. So we have F is equal to 150M all over D squared. Next, we want to find out the value of F, which is the force, such that force is equal to KM all over D squared. We simply substitute K is equal to 150, M is equal to 10, and D is equal to 10. Then, if we will simplify 150 times 10 all over 100, so we have F is equal to 15. So therefore, the force is equal to 15 newtons. So that ends our class today. So hopefully that you enjoy our lesson. So once again, this is Teacher Onen de Guzman. Goodbye and thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified on my new videos. Goodbye.